Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. This week I'm in a bit of a mad rush, so it's Friday. I'm getting away to France tomorrow and I'm driving there and I've got so much admin and everything to do and make sure everything is fine here at the stables before I go away. So I've got the lovely Louise looking after Bonnie and Lara for me while I'm away. I've got up this morning because I need to get so much packing. So I thought that was a perfect excuse to introduce you. You may have already seen this on my other vlogs, maybe like my camp vlog too. This is Y food. This is essentially a meal replacement drink, which you can just pick up on the go when possibly you don't have time to have breakfast. So before I've had these at a competition, at a competition I cannot eat. I'm way too nervous and you don't want to eat, but you want to keep your energy levels up. This is perfect. Literally, this is perfect. And also so delicious. It has 26 vitamins and minerals. It's got fiber, protein, everything in it. They're 500 calories per bottle. This is the cold brew coffee flavor. And it literally keeps me full until probably about two o'clock. They've also got this funky new packaging. So I've just read it's 100% recyclable. So doing it there, doing their bit for the planet. So it's really good. I'll leave their information in the comment box if you want to go and check them out. They do these really cool taste packs as well, where you could try every single flavor. So they've got banana, vanilla, coconut, um, strawberry, vanilla, literally loads of flavors. And they've got some limited edition flavors too, but you'll have to go to the website and see. Lara, my mare here, recently had some hock injections, which required, basically her to have some time off afterwards and then start the rehab process of just kind of bringing her back into work. Now, last vlog, you saw me, if you watched it, that we did our first in-hand walk together. And then the other day, after Lara had our lovely physio come and give her the once over and make sure she was tickety-boo, we had our first ridden walk. Today, I'm going to take Lara out, who, she's in a bit of a tiz this morning. She spent ages going round and round the field and wouldn't let me catch her. So I've just given her a lovely groove. She's so cute. She, look, see, she, look, the two-year-old is standing so lovely and still, and Laura's just spinning round and round on the yard. You're very good, aren't you? But I've just given her a little groove. going to come out with us today for her very first walk with us because she's just had her feet done. Um, she has a little trim and I think it would be good for her. She's obviously, I've already done a show with her. If you want to see Bonnie at our first show, go watch the vlog. There was a vlog about that too. Um, but yeah, I thought I'm going to lead her off of Lara, but at the moment Lara needs to calm down because <laughs> she is absolutely wired. It's all right, my darling. It's okay. So I'll just quickly give Lara a quick brush. Bonnie's had hers, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna tack up. And I'll see you when I'm on. Right, Lara Lee. Got my gloves on. And now this is the important bit of getting on. Have to do this bit correctly, don't we, Lara? Get your bits, let's just tuck this bit in. I forgot that since camp, I've got these lovely free jump stirrups. Oh my gosh. Love them so much. Like, don't bite me, good girl. I said, don't bite me. Right, faffing. I'm faffing. Okay, Bonnie, right. So, when you're doing ride and lead, lead horse should be on the inside so that they're not close to the road. So that means that you need to be on my left, which means it's... No, don't do that, Lara. Leave her alone. Come on. Good 
Gabon. So you got to come here. I used to do this quite a lot as a child, actually. We used to ride and lead the horses to and from the field. Right, stand, Laura. Good girl. The thing with Bonnie is she's just going to try and eat all the time. There we go. Right. Okay. Come on then, Bon. Oh, <laughs> she says, yay. I need to do my girth up, guys. Stand. Oh, well done, Bon. Good girl. <laughs> All right, to be ready. Come on then, gorgeousnesses. Now, the good thing about this today, come on, good girl, is I will be just going on the stubble fields and not so much on the road because Lara, not Lara, because Bonnie hasn't seen that many cars before. Um, so I think I'd have to do a bit more in hand stuff with her walking out before I take her on the roads just so that she's come on bon. Oh, <laughs> Laura you can't trot now this is it's all right it's just Merlin you're going to be trotting the whole way I'm afraid Bon hey okay. hello guys oh my god it's all right <laughs> it's all right Bon you'll get used to her oh it's a hay thing that's scary Ah, I see. I understand what you're scared of. The only thing about coming this way is it's the spookiest bit. <laughs> Isn't it the spookiest bit? Oh my gosh. We're gonna, she didn't, took a bit of persuading coming past here the first time I got on her. And I've really badly placed these tyres right next to the fence line which turned into the most spookiest thing. Ooh, it's all right. Good girl. It's all right. That's it, well done. Good girl, Bon, come on. Whee, is it fun? She's like, what are we doing, Mum? Never done this before. You're so small, actually. You're literally tiny. Good girl. Well done. Right, so obviously, Bonnie is in a head collar today. And normally, when you um, do ride and lead, you want a bit more control of well, definitely a horse if you're doing ride and lead with the horse, but I've only obviously ever done anything with Bonnie in a head collar. She's never had a bit in her mouth. She is only two years old um, and she is very responsive to pressure on her nose. And um, I feel confident enough that she will stop in a situation. I mean, we are walking today, so this is a perfect chance for her to, well, thank goodness we're walking, otherwise I think you'll be trotting very fast, Bonnie. Um, and we're walking today, and it's just a good chance for Bonnie to get out and see the sights, isn't it, Bon? Hey? Hey? But I did mention about fitness, because for little ponies especially, I mean, um, Bonnie's weight's actually been quite good this year. Last year she was a little bit on the porky side, which was a bit worrying, because obviously you have the risks of laminitis, but I didn't feel happy enough that she was old enough, because she wasn't, to come out like this with us. Um, so, obviously she is in res on restricted grazing, um, which does help, but come on, it's alright, it's a cow. It's a cow. It's a cow. Oh, Lara. Yeah, Lara's, you're full of it this morning, aren't you? Look, it's literally a cow. It literally looks like you, but in bovine form. Come on. Come on. Walk on, good girl. That's it, no, just walk. Just walk, that's it, it's all right. I think Bonnie's the one being a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're all right, Lara. I mean, I can't actually fault Lara because she's had all this time off and, um, you know, it was very exciting coming back into work, isn't it? It's also a bit of a relief for me because it means that I know she's feeling good. Come on, Bon, through the stubble. This is your first stubble field experience. How exciting. How exciting, eh? Come on, sweetie. Good girl. Oh, she says, yeah, it's a bit stubbly, mum. Stubble comes up to your knees, doesn't it? Should we move over and let her go on this bit? Come on, it's a cow. It's literally a cow. Right, there you go, Bon. Go on that track. That's better, isn't it? That's better, isn't it? Scary, but at the end of the field, you've got the maze. 
which is the cover crop where all the all the birds are so all the pheasants and the partridge <laughs> i think there's just partridge in here but they do have a tendency to uh, fly out and scare you actually it's more the deer around this bit <sighs> i'm not surprised it does look quite daunting actually in there not gonna lie come on bon oh you're so cute i freaking love you you're so great good girl lara oh it's all right it was a bird literally a bird <laughs> As I mentioned, she's very, very uh, good at responding to pressure and release. And that is because as a little tiny baby, when I got her at 10 months old, um, actually, if you want to go back and watch her progress vlogs, I recommend it because um, you can see the transformation between, she was literally a wild, a wild foal who had never been handled, weren't you? A little baby. And um, she came to me as a bit of a rescue case and uh, yeah now look at her today she's oh it's an apple come on <laughs> good girl anyway so pressure release so as a baby obviously once we've managed to get a head collar on her we did a lot of work of making her kind of aware of our personal space it meant lots of in-hand work kind of backing her up um, obviously we did the join up um, process and everything like that. Um, I'm not an expert here. The lady who was at the yard at the time, she knew everything about this and gave me some valuable tips, which now I have carried on and uh, it just kind of reinforces good behavior. Is this fun, Bonnie? Who's I, I don't know really. <laughs> not, I'm not overly bothered. I'm doing a lot of trotting. Mm, God, I've been blabbering on nearly at the end of this track. Come on, Bon. Good girl, not you, Lara. Good girl. Very, very good indeed. All right, next double field. Woohoo! Lara's like, this is the quickest hack. We did this the other day. She got back and was like, why? What was the point in that? That's because, Lara, it's called rehab. And you've got to take it one bit at a time. Saying that, you are cantering around the field like a loony pin when I got you in. So, But I think it's a bit different, isn't it? Ridden and tarty around in the field. You don't normally tart around in the field. It's because your friend had gone. You love her now. When I first got Bonnie, Lara was not bothered in the slightest. Literally not bothered. And now she's like, oh, I actually quite like her, which is nice, isn't it? Gal pals. Should we take a little picture? I'm gonna take my glove off. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Come on. I'm going to have to keep up the marching, I'm afraid. I just tried to take a picture with my glove on and basically nearly dropped my phone, so I'm going to do it like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's my <laughs> Hello. That's my face. Right. Smile. Bonnie, smile. I'm going to take one this way. Could be a good thumbnail. Maybe. Come on. my glove in there. Come on, good girl. Yeah, I've got to do... <laughs> oh, look, some lovely big straw bales. Would love to jump these, honestly. However, a few factors, obviously. We're not jumping at the moment. We're only walking. And the ground. I don't understand how people can jump these things because the ground is terrible. If you went onto a cross-country course and the ground was like this, you wouldn't jump. So I don't know why you'd do it at home. It's really, really bizarre. Very bizarre. Unless my stubble fields are just weirdly dry. Are they just weirdly dry? Look, Bon, is it fun? Let's put my glove back on. Come on. No, we're walking, Lara. Good girl, good girl. I love how the straw bale is bigger than you, Bonnie. That is funny. And then we've only got this tiny little stretch left and then we're back in uh, where we started. So it's really not a very big loop, but it is 10 minutes walking, which Lara has been needing. So I believe that when we get back off holiday, Francais, um, I will do a couple more 10 minutes walking and then build it up from there. And when I start building it up, I obviously won't be bringing Bonnie along with me because 
you know, that's unfair on your little legs. You can go on these little tiny jollies, which is fun, isn't it? Hey, come on, Bon, good girl. Well done, you're very pretty. You're very good at this. You're very good at this, yeah, nice long and low there. Love that, love that. I wonder what the camera angle's been like this whole time. It's been high enough. No, I think she knows where she is now. Or you're just trying to eat the straw. Don't eat the straw. And then through here. Who knows where we are now? Ah, oh, look, back to where we started. There's my arena. Come on, pop it. And that is just literally a 10 minute stubble loop very enthralling high adrenaline yeah no you've these are your old friends you were in here when i was at camp weren't you You're in that little paddock over there that's all right good girl come on pop it boop, boop, boop. Boop. god horse people wait weird sounds don't they come on darling hello <laughs> Go. Ready. Careful down here. No, Bong, come on. Come on. Ooh, that's good. Well done. Yay, you made it. That was so good. I had no doubts in my mind that you would be a good pony. Hey? Oh God, there's a tree there <laughs> in my eyeball. Oh, right, now you can go back in the field and have a nice well-deserved bit of brekkie, can't you? Yeah. Right, just leave you there. You won't go anywhere. I honestly don't think I actually need a lead rope. Right, I'll try not to land on you, Bon. Whee! Oh. Stand low. Stand to good girl. There you go, have a treat. Bonnie, you can have one too. I know there's only one. I think Bonnie needs it. Bon, Bon, come here. Oh no, that's it. Come here, Bon. No, there you go. All oh, treats, yum. Right, let's go and attack you. Come on, pop it. Oh Lord, that's a grumpy face. Well, I would say that was a big success and thirsty work, wasn't it, Bonnie? I mean, I don't think you could have asked for more than that. A very well-behaved pony. A surprisingly well-behaved horse, considering how she came in this morning. So, that will be my last ride on Lara for until next Monday. So, I mean, it's Friday today. And uh, so she'll have another week off, which, you know what? In this scenario, isn't the end of the world. And actually, it's probably quite beneficial because it's better to give them you know more time to recover and recoup than less so I'm not too bothered. So I'm hoping you enjoyed that guys all you Bonnie fans out there I know you're out there there are lots of you and I'm not surprised because she was so good are you gonna be good with Willa? Willa you're playing with fire there you're playing with fire she doesn't like you Willa be sensible, come out please, good girl, well done. So if you enjoyed today's vlog with Bonnie B, make sure you give the video a like, leave me a comment and subscribe if you want to see more. Hopefully Bonnie will be featuring more on my channel as requested because she is always highly requested. Maybe it's because she's such a character. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys when I get back from France. There probably won't be a vlog next week because I'll be on holiday. Um, hence why I bought you this today in my last minute packing panic. Anyway, I'm blabbering. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low.